Have you ever wondered why you don't often see two anxious, preoccupied attachment style individuals in a romantic relationship together? Sure, you may see them start off dating. There may be some mutual interest, but as a general rule, anxious, preoccupied individuals hardly ever make it past the dating stage of relationships and into the honeymoon stage into the power struggle, into the stability, commitment, or bliss stages of relationships, which are the sort of preceding stages as the relationship evolves. So in this video, I'm going to take you through why this is and also what you can do about this. If in fact you are an anxious, preoccupied individual, and maybe you're interested in somebody who you think might also be an AP and how you can find a way to make this work, despite sort of having the odds against you. So the number one reason this often doesn't take place is because every single individual is essentially seeking out a subconscious comfort zone of the way they treat the relationship to themselves. It's one of the fundamental features that drives attraction. There are others, but this is a really big one. So we, in general, are attracted to somebody who feels safe and familiar at a subconscious level of mind. I'll give you some examples of this to really illustrate it. <clears throat> one of the first ones <clears throat> is... If an anxious, preoccupied person is constantly dismissing themselves, dismissing their own feelings, dismissing their own needs or boundaries, and sort of putting those things to the bottom of the totem pole and always prioritizing others, guess what their subconscious comfort zone is that they're attracted to? They're attracted to people who will also dismiss their feelings, dismiss their needs, dismiss all these different dynamics about them, and then prioritize themselves. And APs generally tend to be attracted to people who are more avoidantly attached. And this is because if this is part of your abandonment trauma growing up, then what's happening is that trauma has imprinted your subconscious mind. And now we seek out that comfort zone because at the end of the day, the subconscious mind is just safety oriented. It just wants to survive. So it says, okay, this has been uncomfortable, but it's been working because we've been surviving. So we want to keep seeking out more of that same thing. Now, when this happens, where an AP like sort of works to, to find that subconscious comfort zone, you have to imagine now you have two anxious preoccupieds who are considering dating each other. Now, another big factor that actually drives attraction is if we perceive that somebody will meet our needs, but that's secondary to survival, right? So, and remember your subconscious comfort zone is what your subconscious is associating with survival, that familiarity equals safety equals survival dynamic. So... What happens is there can be this, this immediate attraction. You can have physical, biological attraction, chemistry, somebody meets your needs. You can have those dynamics that may drive attraction to a certain degree. And that can be why two APs may date one another. But then it's really difficult for the anxious, preoccupied relationship to evolve because they end up essentially being like the same end of a magnet. They repel each other over time because the anxiousness in each other is not the subconscious comfort zone of how they treat themselves. And so it acts as this repellent essentially, and it will cause the relationship to often break down. And I have rarely, rarely seen two anxious individuals make it beyond the dating stage and actually into the honeymoon stage where there's some kind of commitment. Now, there are exceptions to this rule that don't really follow like the hard and fast part of it. And it's that if while in the dating stage, one of those attachment style individuals becomes dominantly secure. If their attachment style becomes really strongly secure, um, now there's room because this dynamic isn't like the, the same end of the magnet that repels each other. So we can see if both parties, but especially one party is really working on their attachment style and how they show up and how that's different, then there won't be this repelling dynamic taking place. So what we really want to be able to do is if you're interested in another AP, you want to fast track your path to becoming secure if you want that relationship to work, if you want it to last. And so some really important dynamics to, to be able to do this. And by the way, you can check out, um, and I'll take you through some, some steps to take in this video, but you can check out as well before I go to those steps. Um, our 14 day free trial at PDS. So we're doing a 14 day free trial. It's for Black Friday. Um, we really don't do 14 day free trials um, very often at all. 
and we may not do them again in the future. This might just be a Black Friday thing. So um, you can check it out using the link below, but you can check out specifically when you click on that link. It gives you access to the whole school, including the webinars with me. So you can come in, you can join the webinars, you can put your camera on, camera off, whatever you prefer. You can ask a question through audio with your camera on, type it in the chat, whatever you prefer. Um, and um, it gives you access to all of that stuff. But the course you really want to check out is the Anxious Preoccupied to Secure Reprogramming course. And it really hones in with action steps and a workbook and, and exercises to do in detail to really move the needle a lot more quickly to becoming securely attached. It like hones in on the key areas. But some of the really big ones include things like learning to meet your own needs, right? Learning to be able to show up in the relationship to yourself and actually have that relationship to yourself so that you're meeting your needs. And we don't just have these two APs, like super people pleasing each other that eventually no one's really sharing and communicating what their individual needs are and um, will often lead to a breakdown in the relationship dynamic. So learning to meet your own needs, learning to self-soothe is going to be huge to become securely attached. Um, and another really big one is also um, learning to reprogram your fear of abandonment. Because if you're not having that fear that's driving your actions, your decisions, your behaviors all the time, and also your emotional state and what you bring into the relationship, um, then we lose a lot of that potential difficulty between two AP parties that would stop the relationship from really having the ability to progress. So um, those are really important things to focus in on. That course takes you through all of them in a lot of detail, as well as some other um, important dynamics, sort of some, some other key ingredients in there um, that I can't put all on this video, but it also breaks down exactly the action steps, the exercises, the strategies, like how to fill them out and how to really get to the, the bottom rung of the ladder, like really get that result that you're looking for. So Again, you can check it out for free for 14 days for a limited time using the link below. And I hope this video answered some of your questions about two APs in a relationship and what happens. Um, and if you have any other questions about this dynamic, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.